Hello friends. So here we will continue our discussion on solving numericals on heat rate and miss penalty. This time what we are going to do uh, that we are going to use two levels of catches. Previously when we have done the numericals only one cache memory was there. This time we are going to have, an, have two levels of cache memory L1, L2 both. Right level 1, level 2. So suppose this is my processor and here L1 cache then L2 cache and your main memory is there. L1 is of smaller size, smallest size, then this is smaller and this is the bigger main memory compared to these two. So whenever processor accesses something, it will get from L1. If it is not found in L1, it will get from L2 and given to L1, then to the processor. If it is also not found in L2, then it will be obtained from main memory to L2, then L1, then it will be given to processor. This is how it works. Then the average uh, access time, what we know if formula is that heat ratio into memory access uh, cache memory access time plus failure time into miss penalty so this time whenever we will get failure here it will not be memory access time it will be the time taken by these components right so this part will be 1 minus h1 is there already then this part miss penalty will be from this side so h2 c2 will get it from cache memory plus 1 minus h2 into m if at all we get do not get in the L2 cache, then we will go to memory. That is memory access time. This is my penalty. Then if we you will simplify this, we come up with this expression. This also we need to remember because we need to solve numericals using two levels of caches also. Right? Then next is we'll solve some problem. Please read the question carefully. Consider a two-level memory system such that level one having heat ratio 75%, right? level 1 two level memory system and level 1 heat ratio is 75 percent the level 1 memory is 20 times faster than level 2 memory the average access time of level 2 memory is 52 nanosecond if the average access time of level 2 memory is changed or increased by 20 percent of 52 nanosecond compute the following what is the access time of level 1 what is the new heat ratio what is the percentage of change in heat ratio? So we will solve one by one, right? First, we need to understand the problem. So see, we have got two level memory. Please do not confuse it with two level cache. Two level memory. That means one is cache, one is main memory, right? If it is two level cache, then obviously they will say it is three level memory system. So it is two level memory system means one cache memory will be there one cache memory will be there and one main memory will be there it is said that this one is having heat ratio 75 percent correct level one memory uh, is 20 times faster than level two so if this is t1 and this time is t2 then what is their relation the relation is that t2 equal to 20 times of t1 this i can say or you can say t1 equal to t2 by 20 that is also fine right because Level 1 will be obviously faster. That we need to understand because this is cache. This one is faster than level 2 memory. The average access time uh, of level 2 memory is 52 nanoseconds. So this quantity is given to us. So first we will do this much only. What we know that S is 0.75. Average time is 52 nanosecond. And what is my T2? 20 T1. That's level 2 access time is what? 20 times of level 1 time. That is 20 T1. Then we know the formula for our T average, right? If we'll put all the values known to us, that is T average, H, and your, uh, that T2 is what? 20 times T1, right? 20 times T1. So now see in the equation only one unknown quantity is there. And we, when we will solve it, we will get T1 equal to 9.04 nanosecond. T1 is obtained. That means level one access time is obtained. And what is level 2 access time? 20 T1. So T2 will be 180.8 nanosecond. So first part of this question is done. One at a time you take. Then next they are asking what is the new heat ratio. So see, if we are getting new heat ratio, then in this equation we need to change something. They are not changing T1, T2. They are changing the average access time. So previously my access time was what? 52 nanosecond now they have changed or what they say or increase 
that means with 52 i am going to add something what is that 20 percent of 52 right that i am going to add then only this will be my new t average right so see if i am getting new t average that means my heat ratio is also going to change so what will be the new heat ratio right so see here heat ratio is going to increase or decrease my average access time is increasing so heat ratio obviously is going to decrease then only i am going to take more time right so see t average 2 equal to t average 1 plus 20 uh, that 20 percent of 52 right so it will be your 62.4 nanosecond now we know we need to find out what new heat ratio so we know in this equation what we know we know t1 that is uh, something we have find 9.04 then t2 t average 2 it is there so if we'll put all these values we can find out h dash so h dash will be our new heat ratio this is h dash so h dash will be 68.9 percent uh, right previously it was 75 percent now as my average time is increasing that means my heat ratio is decreasing see whenever you see this language right that time only you should understand your heat ratio should be something lower than 75 percent that much is for sure the next question is what is the percentage of change in heat ratio so see something is changed then how much it is changed that percentage we need to find out so percentage of change in heat ratio will be old minus new by old into 100 percent old one was your 75 this one is your 68.9 and see 0.75 I have written instead of your 75%. When we do this calculation, it is coming up as 8.1% heat ratio is changed, right? So this much is understood. Then next one more numerical we will do. See this numerical. Consider a three-level memory system. This time they said three-level memory system with access times per word 20, 40, and 100 nanosecond. It is given. Heat ratios are 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 1 respectively. If the referred word is not available in level 1, get the two word block from level 2 to your level 1 and supply the desired word to the processor, right? And if it is also not available in level 2, then get a four word block from level 3 to level 2. And transfer the associated block from level 2 to level 1. Whatever they have asked for. Wherever your data item is there in level 1. Uh, from level 2 to level 1, we need to transfer. And after that only, hand over the desired word to the processor from level 1. Now, in this scenario, what will be the average access time? See, do understand this is three-level memory system. First, read the numerical two times carefully whatever data is given try to understand then only we'll apply see here the length of the numerical is longer but the solution is a very simple one right they are asking what is the average access time so see first we need to understand our memory system is this p is processor level 1 level 2 level 3 level 1 access that heat ratio 0 0.7 0 0.8 and here i will always get so heat ratio they are telling 1 then here it is 20 nanosecond, here it is 40, and here it is 100 nanosecond for one word. But whenever I do not get in level 1, I will get a block from level 2 to level 1, right? From level 2 to level 1. The deduction will be this side, right? Actually, the deductions will be this side. Then whenever I do not get in level 1, I will get two word block from level 2. For one word transfer, it requires 40 nanosecond. For two word it will require 80 nanosecond and if i am not getting in level three sorry level two i'll get it from level three right and here the time taken is 100 nanosecond so 100 into 4 400 nanosecond will be required to go from here to here then i need to send from here to here then only it will come to the processor right so see here this much is understood right then we know our t average formula just some time back only we have done that two level cache memory is there. This is my C1, this is my C2, this is my main memory. So if this is so, then this average 
time formula is h1 t1 that is here 1 minus h1 means here i am not getting it then i will get it here this is my success case in level 2 level 2 block transfer time is required because from here to here i'll get the block then i will transfer it to the cache so it is tb plus t1 t1 from here to here tb is from here to here then whenever i will not get in level 2 then i'll get the block from level 3 to level 2 right that is tb dash then the required block will be given to level 1 that is tb then it will be given to processor that is t1 right so this is my average uh, t average formula now we need to put the values for the corresponding uh, these components and we will get the average access time so see here h1 is 0.7 h2 is 0.8 it is given right then your t1 is 20 nanosecond tb that means uh, block transfer time so what is the length of my block from your this one what is that level 2 to level 1 that is two word right two word block is transferred for one word transfer it requires 40 nanosecond so 40 into 2 18 nanosecond that is tb that is from level 2 to level 1 next is your level 3 to level 2 also sometimes you need to transfer at that time the block size is four word and for one access it requires 100 nanosecond so for four number of accesses it requires 400 nanosecond right so this is tb dash now see t average formula is this one in this formula now we know the value of tb dash tb t1 we know h2 we know h1 we know t1 if we'll put all the values our t average will be ready so we'll put all the values already the values how i'm getting that i have explained so when you put all these values that time the t average comes up to be your 68 nanosecond hope this numerical is clear see though the question is longer but the answer is simple only you need to understand the concept right that what i am transferring how much time is taken what is given and all where to put what right and this 0.7.8 are for whom then this is for per word this you need to understand this is for per word but i am going to transfer a block right here i am transferring a block so you need to find out the block transfer time if all these small small components are correct definitely we will get the correct result for by solving this numerical hope this numerical is understood so this much is there in this video and hope you have got whatever i have discussed and if you are getting from explanations then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you